What's up, you two? Simply oh, oh, lucky here. And today I have a very insane video. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and please, you guys, remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. All right, you guys. This is going to be. I could, this this is a classic opening. This is over ten years old at this point, and this is a Yu-Gi-Oh GX. 2016 you guys this tin is from 2006 the air inside here is from 2006 that's before some of you guys were even born at this point that's crazy that's crazy some 2006 air inside here and this is the elemental hero neos tin you guys i'm very excited for this uh, it's been a long time since we've opened this it's one of my favorite 2006 tins and uh i hope you guys are ready because here we go all right, so this is the 2006 run, you guys. It came with the uh, the first wave, I think, was the um, Cyber Dragon and then the uh, Elemental Hero Neos, along with the second wave being Shining Flare Wingman, and then the Hammond, Uria, and Raviel were also part of it. So, pretty cool. Six packs inside. Let's see what we get. This is the Elemental Hero Neos tin. Crazy. Crazy. You guys ready? You know what? And just a little side information. This is this is Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys. There is no really other card game that has classic tins like this. This is something that you'd only be able to find in Yu-Gi-Oh. And I, I really like that. Also, shout out to the beautiful playmat here. This is the Black Edition Simple and Lucky Playmat limited to 100. Links in the top of the description below, you guys, for that. All right, here we go. Elemental Hero Neos. Man, just taking them out of the tin right there. That is a 100% mint, straight from the 10 Neos. What do you guys think? Is that is that a graded 10 Neos? Wow, look at that. Looks like the border might be a little bit off there for the graded 10, but man, that picture, that's gorgeous. A new elemental hero has arrived from Neospace. When he initiates contact fusion with a Neospatian, his unknown powers are unleashed. Very cool, you guys. I'm going to set him up there. And inside we have a pocket guide. Okay. A new power launches with Power of the Duelist. Cool. Some GX. Lots of GX, actually. Cyberdark Impact. I guess that's a... I think that's a Zane pack. Man, love it. GX time. Get your game on, guys. Get your game on. And yes, you guys are seeing this right. This is Cybernetic Revolution. The box price of this first edition set, you guys, has rised dramatically over the last few years. Um, I just remember being like 200 bucks a few years back and we'd open it every now and then for Simple Unlucky videos. Uh, but man, it's it's a little a little bit gross if you were to look at it now. Um, but yeah, Cybernetic Horizon, or sorry, Revolution. Let's just say Cybernetic Horizon, that'd be a, a new Yu-Gi-Oh set. Um, but some of the most valuable ultimate rares inside of here. And uh, there's two Cybernetic Horizon packs. And then one of the most valuable ultimate rares with the Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. You guys, we're talking like $500 to $1,000 cards at this point if they're graded. So, very nice. We have a Shadow of Infinity booster pack. And then we have an Enemy of Justice booster pack. Very cool. Put this tin back here. Got our Neos chilling there. All right. I feel like we're going to start with some Enemy of Justice. Here we go. First pack. And on one of the older GX packs here, we are going to start with a whiff, you guys. Here we go. All right. Back to 2006. This pack might even be from 2005 as well, but back to 2006, you guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get your game on. We're hoping for one foil. That's usually what tins bring us, but uh, today I have a feeling this might be godly. Avalanching Asa. Macro Cosmos, one of the best cards in the game. Side deck cards in the game for a while. Oh, Oversoul. Guard Dog. Elemental Absorber. Ooh, maybe that's a sign that our Elemental Energy Pack is going to be uh, pretty insane. Uh, Destiny Signal. Nice. Battery Man D. And then, ooh, Emergency Call. That's uh, actually a pretty valuable common card. Cool. Elemental Necroid Shaman. So uh, we did pretty good for our pack there. Got one of the better commons in the set. All right, you guys, what's going to happen next here? This is going to be a Shadow of Infinity booster pack. Actually, no, it's going to be Cybernetic Revolution. Let's do this one. Gorgeous. I like how it's two Cybernetic uh, Revolution booster packs. Very nice. Can we pull an ultimate rare from these packs? That's what it's all about, you guys, in the GX sets. It's all about the ultimate rares. Can we get one? Here we go. 
Protective Soul Allen. Nice. Des Croaking. Uh, Mechanical Hound. Doitsu. And then a Magical Explosion. Nice. One of the uh, few OTK cards for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, or one turn kill or just uh, just kill decks. Um, effect damage decks, I guess you could say. Uh, you can only activate this card when your opponent has no cards in your hand. Inflict 200 damage uh, to your opponent for each spell card in your grave. So you activate three of these at once, um, your opponent dies. <laughs> if you have like 30 spells in the grave. Battery Man C. You know, this deck might be a little bit better with Morphing Jar um, number two back in the game. Jetroid, Spiritual Water, Ayu, Oi, and Soyitsu. Nice. Doitsu and Soyitsu. Well, airplane people. Paper airplane. All right, you guys. That's two. Pretty cool packs. Got a lot of classic cards there. Now we're going to move into a Shadow of Infinity. Man. You guys, I'm telling you, we get an ultimate rare out of any of these packs. It can be crazy. Man, after that massive 1,000 pack of 1,400 pack opening, you guys, I'm just like, man, what's going to happen? Just that last pack of Destiny. Goki Pan, End of the World. Uh, we've talked about this before in our videos, but definitely one of my favorite arts. I just like how it's just Armageddon. Love it. Uh, Ten Kabito Shin. And then a Phantasmal Martyrs. Nice. Pretty cool looking card there. And then Ancient Gear Factory. That's uh. Ancient Gear Golem right there, getting his helmet put on. Ant Eater Eating Ant. Love that card. And, and it's actually a pretty, it was it was played for a while, I think, in Earth and Insect decks or whatever. Um, cannot be Normal Summon or Set. This card can only be Special Summon by sending two Spell or Trap cards on your side of the field of the grave. And then this card can destroy a Spell or Trap on your opponent's side of the field. Can't attack when you do that, though. People thought this was actually pretty good. And maybe it still is a little good today. Playing an insect deck or something. Next to be lost, and then silent insect. Cool. All right, you guys, this is Elemental Energy and Cybernetic Horizon. Here we go. Man, it's crazy how it's like. It could be something in here. Could be something real good. All right, we got Scar Scout of the Dark World, Reborn Zombie. Oxy get on, Familiar Possess, Area, Jax Knight, cool card there, strong Master Swordsman, his loyalty is to justice, and his duty is to protect the weak. Ooh, cool, Dark World Lightning, uh, Simultaneous Loss, Chthonian Polymer, and Blade Skater. That's the image of beauty on ice. All right, you guys, like I said, it's tough sometimes with these classic tins here. Can we even get one foil out of these packs? Cybernetic Horizon, give it to us. Kaiba! Dun 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 dun. Da 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 dun 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 dun. All right. You guys gotta believe in the heart of the cards. This is it. Psychroid, Poison Draw Frog. Can we get an ultimate rare? Can we get a foil? Spiritual Wind Art Miyabi. Fusion Recovery. Super rare goblin elite attack force. All right, all right. Cybernetic Horizon has provided us with a super rare goblin elite attack force. That's pretty cool. It's funny when they made this card. People tried, I think people tried to use it, but it was just like, man, I don't know. I feel like goblin attack force is even better because it had more attack. Uh, Spiritual Earth Art Kurogane, Cybernetic Cyclopean. Now, this card, I think people play more often in their Earth Beatdown than the goblin elite attack force. Well, I have no cards in your hand to increase the attack of this guy 1,000. So, 2,400 beat stick. Sheehan's Spy. Cool card there. And Tadpole. Little cutie. I always like the little, little markings, a little tattoo going on with the Tadpole. So, very cool, you guys. Um, also, this opening's not over yet. I wanted to freshen it up a little bit, you guys. So, we grabbed a mini box of elemental energy i was just like you know this is like a Jaden opening going on here this is gx this is classic and i'm loving it and i just wanted to add a little bit of flavor some purple flavor with elemental energy three booster packs inside let's do it a special edition box now from here you're really hoping maybe just maybe if you can get a one foil card that would be nice again we're still pressing for that ultimate rare 
There's a variant card inside, and it is a black horse. I was just going to say, Horse of Black Flame Dragon level 8 would be one of the best ones. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and take him out. Secret Rare Horse, the Black Flame Dragon level 8, you guys. That is beautiful. That is a card you could also get graded, by the way. How are our borders? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty centered, guys. That looks like a good one. I like it. I like it a lot. Very nice, you guys. That is Horus the Black Flame Dragon. If you guys don't remember this guy's effect, this card cannot be special summoned except by the effect of Horus level 6. When this card remains face upon your side of the field, you can negate the activation and effect of any spell card and destroy them. Beautiful. One of the best cards, dragon cards for a cool while, you guys, back in the day. I'm going to use our Ultra Pro uh, Pro Clips Blacks to sleeve this up, you guys. That is gorgeous. Black Flame Dragon in a black sleeve. All right. Well, now I'm already excited for this Elemental Energy opening, you guys. So, I mean, if we don't get anything, it's all good. But if we do, man, are we going to... Oh, baby. All right. First pack of Elemental Energy. We're still back in like 2005, 2006. What's going to go down? Wait, just a, real quick, real quick. Oh, man, that had a better, that had a better classic smell than those, those tin packs. I don't know why, but woo! All right. Elemental Energy, you guys. Can we get the ultimate rare? Infernal Incinerator. Oxy Get On. Non Fusion Area. Level Modulation. And then, oh, baby, an ultimate rare. <laughs> Level Limit Area A. We actually got an ultimate rare. That's pretty freaking cool. Man, you guys, the options that that card could have been. I just want to say a silent little prayer for those uh, ultra rares. We could have got ultimate. Woo! All right. Also, pretty cool looking card, by the way. I don't know if you guys ever really looked at this, but just a lot going on there. A lot going on. It's like a pyramid in the background. And it's like, a, I just don't know who designed this card, but man, they were they had some imagination going on. This is a level area limit. That is a ultimate rare card, you guys. Gateway to the Dark World, cool. Roll out, Autobots. Hydro get on, and simultaneous loss again. Level modulation, fun card there. All right, you guys, we'll go ahead and sleeve her up. This is it, this is it. You guys, please let us know in the comments below some of you guys' favorite um, GX packs that we opened today. Uh, mine's probably moving towards Cybernetic Horizon slash Elemental Energy, but Man, let us know in the comments below, you guys, because I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and opinions, because this is this is pretty sweet. All right. Honestly, I've never seen two ultimates. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Never seen two ultimates out of a mini box before. I don't even know if I've seen an ultimate in an ultra. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Elemental energy. Here we go. Yugi boy. All right. We got Wild Heart. Infernal Incinerator again. Oh, and a level modulation. Maybe it's another good pack. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ooh, a super rare VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon, you guys. That was pretty freaking insane. That was a Kaiba card, too. Wow. All right, we got an ultimate rare. We got the Secret Rare Horse Black Flame Dragon, level 8. And we got a super rare, and probably the best super rare in the set with VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Let's check them out. Well, I'm loving these packs. Um, this card can only special summon from your side of the field if you should have it. Removing the above cards on your side of the field. Pretty cool. You don't use poly. And once per turn, remove from play one card on your opponent's side of the field. When this card attacks, you can change the battle position of attack monster. Flip effects are not activated. Cool, you guys. Classic cards. I love it. Love it. We'll go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up as well. And you guys, you know what makes this a godly opening? If we get three foils out of three packs. Let's see what happens. Crazy. Let's sleep them up. There we go. All right, you guys. This is it. Last pack of Destiny. I know we got a good Kaiba card there, but we still haven't asked for Kaiba on this mini pack or mini box. Give it to us. Kaiba! Three foils out of three packs. Ooh. Had a little bit of a tough time coming out of there. Man, Infernal Incinerator again. This guy is giving us the fire pools. Level Modulation again next to him. Forces of Darkness. Bonding H2O. Yugi Boy! Nice. Braun, the Mad King of the Dark World. Man, Elemental Energy. That is a good set. Dark World cards. You got some uh, Familiar Possessed. Teenager cards. The Cybers. Dark World Lightning. Simultaneous Loss. That was a good one, you guys. That was a good one. 
pretty epic opening there. And here we'll give uh, we'll give Goblin a lead attack for some love. Some Earth beat down cards. Very nice. Pretty epic opening, you guys. That is a classic opening from a Elemental Hero Neos Tin all the way to Elemental Energy, you guys. That was fun. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And you guys, please, please remember to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Honestly, we've been having a ton of epic content lately, you guys. We're trying to do daily content, and it's and it's been very fun. Um, also, again, check out the, uh, the links at the top of the description below for these beautiful Dark Magician playmats, you guys. They're uh, Dark Magician Girl playmats. They're definitely one of my favorite playmats that uh, we've ever done is Simply Lucky. So check those out. And Simply Unlucky, signing out.